Hey everyone, I am so excited to be sharing Christmas tips with all of you. Now we all know we love a good holiday party. We love an ugly sweater, a good dessert, a good appetizer, and a good cocktail. And that's exactly what we're going to work up today. For our appetizer, we're working up a Christmas wreath that's going to blow your guests away. It's going to have fresh dill, some tomatoes, some bread, nice spread on it, which is some vegetable cream cheese, and then we're going to have some fresh broccoli to go right in between that. And for dessert, we're going to whip up some beautiful Christmas tree brownies, and they're going to be topped with candies, all types of stuff. And then we're going to do a nice cream, and it's going to be a mascarpone with some white chocolate. It's going to be double rolled, melted down, and it's going to make amazing, amazing presentation for your guests. And now for our cocktail. We're going to do our vodka, triple sec, and pomegranate juice cocktail with some mint leaves, some lime, and some pomegranate seeds to top it off and garnish it. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for you to try these recipes so that you can blow away your holiday party and your holiday guests. Alright, and now for the fun part. Building your platter. You want to start by getting a serving dish. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. The next thing you want to do is you want to take those beautifully spreaded French bread slices that we did and you want to put those right around the lining of your plate. So the next step is you want to start adding your tomatoes. You want to leave some space in between the plate and your serving dish so that you can start to add your broccoli. Once you've done that, you want to now add dill. Dill is the secret ingredient. Alright, and finally, last but not least, let's add our makeshift bow. Alright, and now for our Christmas tree brownies. Now again, you don't have to be fancy. You could do a brownie from the box, or you could do a brownie from scratch. And now it's time to build our white chocolate mascarpone icing for our brownie Christmas trees. For this, you want to use a double boiler, and if you don't have one, it's simple. You just literally use a pot with some boiling water and a bowl on top. After you've done that and it's gotten to melt down a little, you're going to stir in some butter. The butter is going to bring it to a new level of consistency, and it's going to make it just about perfect so that we can stir in our mascarpone. Once you stir in your mascarpone, you should start noticing a beautiful velvety texture, and that's when you know it's ready. We're gonna have chocolate covered pomegranates, M&Ms, let's not forget about our candy cane sticks. Those are actually gonna be our Christmas tree tree trunks. Simply hollow out a little hole, stick that bad boy in there, and voila, now you have a Christmas tree. You can use a piping bag, or you can simply put it in a Ziploc bag, cut off the corners, and it works exactly the same. Get your artistic skills out, start making those lines, and act as if there's garland on the Christmas tree. Now you're gonna decorate your Christmas tree, with your candy Christmas bulbs. That's the M&Ms, the chocolate covered pomegranates, and whatever other candies you like to use. And now for our Christmas cocktail. For garnish, you're gonna need mint leaves, pomegranate seeds, and a lime. To actually build the cocktail, you're gonna need a shaker. Just eight ounces of your favorite vodka, two to four ounces of triple sec, eight ounces of pomegranate juice, add mint leaves, and shake that bad boy up. Everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in to our Christmas special. We had a tasty, tasty appetizer. We had a delicate, decadent dessert. And we had a juicy, oh-so-good pomegranate cocktail. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I want you to like, share, subscribe, comment. And again, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays from my kitchen to yours. Cheers. Okay. Okay. It's a... Lord have mercy. <laughs> Come on, that. Mom, I'm shooting. I'm shooting for Acorn Kitchen. I gotta call you back. You're in touch. Okay. Bye. Love you.